Hello friends, uh, today in this video we are going to see on how to use Max ERP software for supermarket, uh, departmental stores and grocery stores. So even the fruits and vegetable vendors can also use this and we'll see an example of all of this. So we'll just log into the application first. We'll start with uh, creating a couple of masters. We already have few products in place like uh, so we have created certain products called Haldiram Son Papli with a product code. This product code is the vendor's SKU code which comes uh, by default from the vendor side. So Hamam Soap also we have just given a code as 12345. This code is again the sticker that comes uh, behind the Hamam Soap packing, the barcode sticker that comes there. So you can use the vendor codes itself as a barcode or alternatively we can even generate our own uh, barcodes for each and every product and use them for billing. Uh, then we have created a, a product called uh, India Gate Basmati Rice. We have created uh, Ooty Fresh Tomato uh, as a part of fruits and vegetables. See all these products we have an option of regional name definition also. So we can just get this product name printed in any, any of the language in the English or any universal language is supported. Then uh, we have the Surya Rice 100 kg bag. And we have created a couple of more products for repack, repacking options. Like Surya KG, half, half kg bag we have. Then we have 1 kg bag, 25 kg bag and 5 kg bags. Uh, so let's see, uh, we'll, we'll create a couple of more products and see how to use it. Before that, we'll just start with uh, creating of a vendor. So we'll create a new vendor saying, let's say Surya Marketing. And we'll just save this. All this information can be filled in, uh, we, but nothing is mandatory. So for now, I'm just saving it uh, without saving any other information. So we have created a vendor and then uh, we'll create a new product. Let's say we create a product called uh, SVS oil. So we can use the vendor barcode, uh, the product code that comes uh, on the packing. Let's say so you can convert to any of the regional language like Tamil, or if you want it in Hindi, you can just select Hindi and click convert all words. So it will just uh, generate in Hindi. And then we can just define a group name saying oils. So it says we have an option of uh, saying shelf life in number of days and minimum shelf life. So let's say if this oil is to be used within 180 days of the date of purchase, then you can just mention 180 days. But this will mostly be useful for fruits and vegetables. In our case, we will just use. Uh, we can even define the weight of the product. So one liter, let's say it's around uh, 0 0.800 grams. So you can just mention 800 grams here. And we can mention an expiry date option. So by default, when we make the purchase, the system will ask us an expiry date for this product. Now, there are a couple of more options available here. Let's say we define an HSN code for this product. It's a 12% taxes. Now, if it's an MRP based product and we have a fixed markdown from the vendor, then we can just define as purchase by markdown and we can define the MRP of the product saying let's say 180 rupees. We have a 20% mark markdown on this, so 144 is our landing cost. And let's say we want to add our markup on the landing cost, let's say we just add a 20% markup and we sell it at 172 rupees, or we can directly define our sales rate itself saying. 175 rupees and then we can even maintain our minimum quantity reorder levels so any point of time we should have 20 packets of this in stock it should not exceed more than 50 packets so we get alerts on minimum quantity as well as we get alert on overstocking also if it goes beyond 50 then we are doing an overstocking so above maximum quantity also you get an alert when it comes below 20 you just need to reorder 25 and once it takes around let's say three days for the goods to arrive after the order is placed 
and you can just create a default vendor saying let's do your marketing and you just save this so we have two ways of creating product one is uh, mrp based products where we have a mrp fixed from the vendor and system will keep a track of the markdown that is done for the products so whenever there's an mrp change from svs oil uh, the system will keep a track that we have a minimum 20% markdown on mrp uh, as per them so if it goes below if the if our purchase rate is below 20% then system will show an alert saying uh, there's a difference in the rate so your margins are getting shrinked similarly we can create different products wherein either it can be a markdown on mrp or it can be a markup on cost so by default if you don't tick this purchase by markdown then it is basically a markup on cost so whatever is the costing that you get in for repacking products where the mrp is not defined you can generate your own or you can define your own margin while purchase and define the new sales rate and generate the barcode stickers for those products so we'll uh, we have this uh, repacking product also so we have this product called surya 100 kg bag so in this we have defined the repacking product saying surya half kg bag we can repack into 200 quantity or you can even define the weight accordingly and when you say surya 1 kg so 100 kg bag we can pack 100 packets of this repacking can be done 25 kg so 25 to 4 is 100 and 5 kg bags we have so 20 so basically we can pack 100 kg bag into 20 kgs or 20 packets of 5 kgs so we define all the repacking uh, possibilities of each and every uh, product uh, from the parent product and save them in the masters we can even image link a product image if you want and like we can define multiple EN code also so hammam so by default the vendor code the barcode number on the vendor uh, product is 1235 in case if that changes then we can even define multiple n number of uh, EN codes for each and every product EN code or the SKE code is a universal code for each and every product registered uh, by the company and if there's any changes in those you can have you can refer the old uh, stock as well as the new stock using the EN code you can define n number of uh, barcode numbers uh, as per the vendor uh, defined on the pack uh, in the product master so this is also based on a markdown on MRP so 15 rupees is the MRP and 20% is our terms with the vendor so 20% would be our margin and our landing cost would be 12 uh, in case if the MRP changes on the while purchase uh, you need not define anything in the masters the system will take care that tomorrow if a 15 rupees become 18 rupees then you can still you should have a 15 20% margin in between similarly we have this OT fresh tomato so in this we have mentioned our MRP rate and the landing cost and the selling rate here we have option to define uh, weight for each and every product so let's say this is uh, 1 kg and uh, weight is in kgs basically so just mention 1 kg here amounts of 100 grams we can just define the weight here so you can see that uh, we have defined weight for all the products and we even define the shelf days for tomatoes so let's say we have just mentioned two days so by default the system will uh, get two days from the current date as the expiry date while making the purchase for this products and we even get short expiry alerts uh, for the products which are going to get expired soon and defining the weight for each and every product here uh, helps us in identifying the total weight that is there in the bill so at the bill uh, at the summary of the bill you'll get total weight of all the products that have been uh, purchased in that particular bill just for cross verification so after this we'll just uh, quickly go into a couple. so after vendors we'll just create a couple of uh, other options like let's say office expenses see we have 
uh, all the accounting heads uh, that are required for complete end to end financial accounting available here. So it's a this is coming under expenses indirect and we'll just save this. Let's say we have HDFC bank card. So we can just select multiple bank accounts also. And we can link this bank account in our mode of payments. So after this, uh, we have created uh, vendors, we have created general ledger under anything other than, other than your customers and vendors, uh, will all, all the accounting heads will come under general ledger like your capital accounts, uh, cash account, loans, advances, assets, liabilities, whatever it is, uh, all those will come into general ledger. You can even define uh, different salesperson and have uh, on every product in the bill or you can even define salesperson, one salesperson for the entire bill. So, that way you can even generate your salesperson incentives so while billing and uh, other than this we have uh, certain other options for reordering so you can have vendor wise product list uh, defined for example let's say we have Surya marketing so from Surya marketing let's say we take SPS oil and uh, we place this order on every let's say Monday Then let's say we even have Amam soap being ordered from Surya Marketing on every Tuesday. So likewise we can have different vendors. Let's say Russian traders. We have Haldiram soap probably being purchased. So we can define a category here saying we are defining this this list will keep getting updated as per the purchase made. Uh, so sweets and savers we order on every it's a Wednesday. Tangam rice Monday. So we have mentioned Surya 100 kg bag to be uh, purchased every Monday. So the system will keep a track of vendor wise different products and the last purchase date and the cost rate and the selling rate and the MRP of the products uh, with different taxes. And uh, it will even help you while reordering on day by day basis. So when you go to your reorder report, when you select Monday, it will give you a list of all the products which are falling short as per the Monday's reordering uh, plan. Apart from this, you even have an option of uh, vendor wise price list management wherein you can define if this product is being purchased from different vendors, you can have vendor wise pricing the last uh, purchase rate and you can even define the markdown or the purchase rate for each and every product for, as per different vendors and you can have a comparison on which vendor is offering the best quote while placing the purchase order and accordingly you can decide now we will directly start with the purchase transaction you can either start with a purchase order manual entry or we even have an option of uh, auto generation of purchase order from the reorder report you even have an option of goods receipt note so once the goods arrive at your premises you can directly enter goods receipt note and then later convert this asset note into a purchase. For now with the demo, we'll directly start with the purchase option. Uh, your invoice number, the supplies invoice number, the date of entry, the actual invoice date, whether it's a cash purchase or a credit purchase, the invoice amount being defined at the beginning itself. Let's say we are buying rice from Tangam Rice Mundi. So once we select Tangam Rice Mundi, it says it gives us the last 12 months performance graph for this vendor. It even says that GST number, mobile number and the email is missing for this vendor. The current outstanding is zero. And so let's say we are buying it uh, Surya 100 kg bags. We are buying from 15 bags. So once we come on the rate, it will just give us the previous supply trade history. So on which date, which all rate we have purchased from this vendor. So here we have a uh, markup option like uh, our MRP is 3000, the purchase rate is 2500. If there's any change here or if you have got any discount, you can even change the rates here like let's say 2400 you have purchased at and your selling rate is 2800 as per the masters and you have a 16% uh, markup on this. So on the cost, 16% added and you have your selling rate. So you can even change to 2900 or your selling rates can be defined here 
and you can just save this. So it says supplier invoice num amount did not match. So here the total is 37,800 and if we have any other expenses on the vendor bill you can configure or add this expenses here and you can even have other details wherein you can just mention the LR details, LR number of bags, transport company name, e bill numbers, vehicle number through which it has come, default credit days on this bill. If you have supplier has given 30 days credit. You can even define this credit days and limit in the master so you can do it for each transaction separately. Now even if there is any single quantity or a rate difference or any discount has been missed out or any expenses have been missed out, you will not be able to save the transaction. So that is why we are entering the supplier invoice grand total at the beginning. So this way we will always have 100% accuracy in the purchase. So I have just saved this and you can generate barcode stickers if you want for these products and system will auto generate a unique uh, barcode number for each and every purchase. Let's say we even make a couple of more purchases. So once we select SVS oil now, uh, so it is asking us an expiry date for this product. So let's say we are buying some uh, 20 packets of this. and. If we have, we even have an option to define manufacturing date as well as expiry date. We have selected only expiry date for this product. So we can just mention, let's say 1121. And all 20 is having the same expiry dates. You can mention this, or else you can just mention 15 having this date. And let's say 1221 balance 5 we have on this date. So if the vendor's MRP rate is 180 as of now with the masters, and our selling rate is 172. So if there is a change in MRP, you can even make the changes here in the MRP. Let's say we save this transaction with the existing values. We can generate our own stickers or we can use the vendor codes as required. We are making another purchase with Surya Marketing for the same product. And uh, that's another 10 packets. If there's any change in MRP, uh, let's say if it's changing to 190 now, it shows an alert saying MRP cannot be lesser than your sales rate. So your selling rate for 190 can be like 180. And if you are selling it lesser than the margins defined, so it says your minimum margin for this product is. 20% but your current uh, margin is only 18.42 so it's just giving an alert so you have to make sure that you are selling at 190 or something similarly your landing cost also if the supplier gives you at 150 it will still show you an alert saying last supply date was 128 let's say you buy hammam soap also so there's no expiry in this product we're just saving this 15 rupees is the MRP and our landing cost is 11.43. So we even have option of including tax in the landing cost or we can just ignore those also. And selling rate can be 14.40 or we can just select 14 rupees also. That's how we save this transaction. make a couple of more transactions with uh, different var variation like let's say Uti vegetables we are buying tomato um, 15 kgs so by default it says uh, as per two days today being the fourth we have a date of purchase on 4-9 so as defined in the masters two days is the shelf life for this product so expired date has come automatically and for the entire 15 kg we have this uh, rate so we are buying at 40 rupees and you sell it 60. Now you can just go to inventory and verify your stock summary. Once you click show, it will show you all the products. So under edible oils, we have one product for 30 packets. Rice 100 kg bag, we have one. Amam soap, we have and we even have tomato 1 kg. Similarly, we can have one more purchase done for 
zero ocean traders we can just have haldiram so here we have both date of manufacturing and expiry let's say we have 20 packets or let's say 30 packets so date of manufacturing is we have mentioned as 30 days uh, as a shelf life for this product so by default from the date of manufacturing it will keep a track of 30 days so basically the product has to be used within 30 days of the purchase of the date of manufacturing so by default it says current date manufacturing you can even mention as like 1 9 and by the in uh, it will just add 30 days to the expiry date let's say 20 packets are of this uh, range and another 20 are for let's say So once this is done, you can see your stock summary here and you have all the products in place, SVS oil, you have under sweets and savings you have Haldigram, in the shops you have this. So all the products as per the purchase we have, we are just seeing in the stock summary. You can even see a separate report here which is called a batch movement report. This will even give you a lot wise detail. So under Haldiram we have uh, these two batches. Under SVS oil, we have this three batches. So we have made multiple purchases at different expiry dates. So here I'm showing us the manufacturing date and the expiry date column and the total stock available in each of the batch purchases that we have made. So after purchase, we'll directly go with the sales option. If we're dealing with some wholesale uh, management, or we are taking phone orders, we can have sales order uh, taken and then sales order can be converted to a point of sale directly or you can even have a delivery note option so you can deliver goods and raise an invoice on a later date so we, we will have a track of pending orders as well as pending challenge here uh, we can even directly generate sales invoice in case we are doing a wholesale uh, business alternatively we can directly go with the pure sale for now and they really start billing so here we have uh, these are the self stickers that are generated and we even have the supplier product codes also in place so if we just select a product called Hamam soap so it will automatically pick up the product on a fee for basis if we have expired products in place it will not allow us to sell the product if it's already expired and if we have more than one MRP product, it will show, you, show us an alert on uh, which product do we want to sell. Now you can see our uh, different product codes that we have, the SKE codes of the vendor. So Haldiram we have 1001. So it is showing us uh, there are two products with different expiry. So which one do you want to sell in? So whether there's a change in expiry or change in MRP, its system will automatically show us a pop-up to choose the MRP so we can verify the MRP on the products and then select the correct batch. Apart from this, we have option here for whether it's a takeaway right now or it's a home delivery. So if it's a home delivery, you can even track the set of home delivery options here and we can just select home delivery. Uh, we can select a customer name or we can quickly create a new customer saying that a and you can save this so while home delivery it is asking us the number of crates that are being used for delivery the system will automatically generate uh, different barcode numbers for crates so that you can track which crate has been sent with which uh, delivery person and whether he has written back the crate or not so if you have crate then we can just select crate here or we, and it will generate the barcode sticker for crates once the bill is being saved, it is asking you whether it's a cash payment or a card payment. Uh, we even have option of cash on delivery also. So once the person comes back, uh, we can have a credit option enabled here. So as of now, if the customer is paying by partial cash, partial card, even that's it, that is possible. And we can just save this.
So once the bill is saved, it is asking, do you want to send the bill over WhatsApp? If I give yes, then a PDF uh, will get auto generated and will be sent to the customer's mobile number on WhatsApp. And otherwise, you can even print a bill and give it to the customers. So it, it is showing you that this is a home delivery and we can even have an offer message defined in the bill printout. Uh, total weight of all the products included in the bill. So this is 250 grams and this is 100 grams. So total weight is 0.350. So 350 grams is the bill weight. And uh, we have total number of two items in the bill. All the details are coming here very clearly. And in which counter it has been built from. We even have the session management option. So if it's a multi-branch also, from which branch it has been built, what date, what time it has been built up. Customer name address details will get printed at the top. And that mode of payment and the tendered amount. If there's any balance amount also will be showed in the bill at the bottom. And we have a tax summary coming in. Total saving for the customer in this bill is uh, seven. There's a barcode generated for the bill at the bottom and we have a thank you message at the bottom. So from here also you can build, send the bill over SMS, email or WhatsApp directly. So all the reports can be sent across WhatsApp. We will take one more example of uh, a sale. We can do a sale directly by using our barcode numbers too. Let's say MS0014. So we have taken these two products uh, for the sale here. We can even have multiple quantities or you can just alter the quantity here if required. And you can directly save. If the customer's mobile number is already in the system, the name will get auto pop uh, selected. And you can just make, make the save. And let's say a customer is paying 500 by card and balance 500 by cash. So it even shows a refund denomination. So we have generated two bills for two different clients. One is a takeaway and one is a home delivery. And post this weekend, uh, we'll come back to your stock summary report and just see. So SBS oil, we have five, 25 packets left. And so the latest stock summary is coming here. You can even go for detailed stock summary, which will show you total opening inward outward and closing so we didn't have anything opening in the opening total inward of the product total outward and the closing left is being shown here uh, in this we can just uh, filter data in like this week's moment or this month's moment so this week's opening this work week's total inward this week's total outward for each and every product will be shown here you can press enter and drill into the transaction details so from where the inward has happened and where all outward has happened and you can again drill into any transaction and verify the details So the system can even be used for uh, generating barcodes directly from weighing scale. There are certain settings available here. So we have this option of weighing scale, product code definition, weighing scale, weight definition, and weighing scale, rate definition. So these days we have this SA weighing scale machines uh, which are being used for generating uh, barcodes directly from the weighing scale. So the, for these fruits and vegetables and for products which are being packed uh, directly as per the customer's requirement uh, on a weighing scale. So customers are, can directly just pack on their own and we have to feed in the different product codes in the machine. And here we have option to define the output of the machines. Like weighing scale uh, from character one to character 10 would be our product code. And after that, from character 12 to character another five letters would be the weight in grams and then we have uh, weighing scale rate definition so from character number 18 next five letters would be our selling rate for the product that is fed in the weighing scale so with this, with this sticker itself if you have this format defined in your weighing scale uh, softwares and this way the barcode will get generated with uh, all the information of the product codes as, as chosen by the customer and for fruits vegetables or dals pulses and all that and once you scan that product code on the pure screen system will automatically uh, pick up the product uh, the first batch for the product 
as well as uh, it will auto pick up the weight from the weighing scale as per the as defined on the stickers and the rates that are the current date rates that are being defined in the weighing scale uh, which is defined on the sticker again and accordingly it will generate the uh, peers bill this is even useful for sweets and bakery stores also wherein sweets uh, are being packed or the fruits and vegetables are being packed as per the customer's requirement 400 grams 200 grams through 250 grams accordingly there can even be a barcode split character in between like uh, after 1 to 10 you have an at the rate symbol in between and then after at the rate you have the next product, next uh, term which is weight again after another split can be used at the rate so these are these are the settings involved with the uh, barcode which are generated in the weighing scale anyways coming back to this uh, so after seeing the stock uh, we will just uh, see a repacking option here. We will just go to inventory and start with the repacking module. So under the repacking screen we have an option of repacking by raw material. Here we will just select our product called Surya 100 kg rice bag. And in this we are going to just convert it to different packing options that are defined in the masters. So let's say we are packing a uh, half kg bag of around 50 half kg bags, uh, 25 1 kg bags, let's say 6 25 kg bags and another 10 5 kg bags so basically it's going to be around 2.5 250 kgs we have packed the 2.5 bag of the main product is getting consumed and once we save this here it will generate barcode for each of this product so we have 50 half kg packet stickers coming up 25 for 1 kg packet stickers and 25 kg bag we have 6 pieces so 6 stickers will get generated and similarly for 5 kg bag we have 10 stickers coming up now coming back to stock summary again once we click show here now under the size group we have out of 15 kg now we have 12.5 kg so basically 12.5 bags left 400 kg bags and remaining other repack products have come into the inventory so we'll go to sales again and even have an option of uh, viewing profits while billing uh, this is only available for admin users or the user for whom you provide the access to view the profits so we'll just take this barcodes ms that will let's say we are getting into four half kg bags so so you can scan the same product again you see the quantity is getting increased similarly ms So we have not enabled credit option in POS but if you enable credit you will even have an option to enable credits while uh, keep the amount outstanding for the customer while the POS bill is done. You have an option of pressing shift plus F12. Once you press shift F12 you get the profit details on the screen before we even we save the bill. So your cost value for each product and selling value for the products is being displayed and the profit made for each and every product is being displayed here and so we just save the bill and customer pays us fine so this is how we are using repacking and we can use those repack product in POS and all the products while billing itself we can view the profits before saving the bill and accordingly even provide discounts to the customer if there is any bargain to be done but this POS screen will be very helpful and it will be very fast also you just need to scan the bar barcodes uh, either generated by the software for the repack products or the barcodes which are coming on the uh, supplier products directly even those could be used we can even define salesperson on individual product wise right now the salesperson is there on the entire bill so we can create the multiple salesperson and use the salesperson either on individual products uh, we have a configuration for the same once we configure product wise salesperson 
we can we will have this option coming here in the POS where we can scan the salesperson barcode first and then we can scan the product code the individual salesperson product wise incentive reports could be generated now we'll just look into the sales report here so we have sales register and we can just click show so it will show us total sales made in the day so we have three sales bill generated and here we can have other summaries option like we can just see brand by sales summary so which brand product how much sales have happened similarly we even have a vendor summary so which vendor products we have sold today those details vendor wise so no turnover is being displayed here sales person wise sales summary so entire sales has been made by direct sales only this we did not select any sales person while billing so it is all coming into one single direct sales here there are a couple of other options like column or tax wise sales summary so we can even see bill wise uh, taxes wise sales so each bill wise exempted sales 12% and the 5% sales that we have you have product brand wise column or sales so you can search check bill wise uh, which brand how much sales have happened so all the brands will come in the column or mode here you can even see tender summary so bill wise how much is the cash sales card sales or credit coupons whatever we enable all those options will be shown here in a column or mode so date wise we even have an option of total take away of the day and total home delivery uh, turnover of the day we have one more report called daily hourly sales summary so this will show us the sales made between 8 to 9 and then we don't have any sales between 9 to 10 and 10 to 11 between 11 to 12 we have a sale of rupees 203 so date wise hourly sales summary also can be seen and accordingly we can plan on deciding on our uh, offers and schemes to improve upon sales during the non peak hours so for undelivered bills we can just go back to regular option and we can just go for options and filter for bill modes which are for home delivery and just click apply so total bills which are defined for home delivery are being displayed here and here we can just click edit and define the delivery date so if you have delivered it on the same day it's okay if you have delivered on the next day we can just mention the next day and uh, we can just save the we can just click update here so this bill will be understood as delivered Uh, we have a special report called uh, purchase versus sales so in this report too we have option for verifying which suppliers which bill products have been sold so ot vegetables we had 15 kgs in and only 1 kg has been sold out total profit made from the vendor and the margin ratio that we have from this vendor sales ratio of this particular bill from this vendor is only 6.67 so same way we can just verify different vendors the total bills that we have and the bill wise profits that we have made and the percentage of the particular bill that has been sold so this way you can even plan on which vendor what product is moving fast and plan your purchase accordingly in the sales register itself we even have option to just view profits also so you can just go for show profits again this option is available only for admins as well as the user who have the option to view profit reports So once we come to the screen, it is showing you as bill wise, uh, total cost value and the profit mar profit amount that we have made and the margins that uh, has been made in the bill. So here we are seeing the bill wise profit. Within the bill, we can see individual product wise profits too. We have other analysis reports like uh, business summary, uh, top end reports like fast moving products or top five customers of yours as per turnover. or top 5 products of area city any combination of reports can be generated top 5 products which we are being sold top 5 bottom 5 you can just check either amount wise or quantity wise a 
smart AI self-disenable analytical report tool which is available in the higher edition uh, in which we can drag and drop and generate any combination of report that we require. Apart from this, we have uh, inventory report wherein we can just track our expiry stock products list. So we can just mention like products which are expiring in the next 30 days and we can just click show. So it says that tomato is going to get expired and Haldiram Som Papdi we have two batches with total quantity which is going to get expired in the next 30 days time. So based on this you can plan up on moving this products faster. We even have this reorder report. Now reorder report uh, can be like as per the vendor category Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday wise. So now again reorder sold quantity from the last purchase or on minimum turnover we can just have this four uh, type options here. Let's say Monday and friction. So as per Monday, on Monday we have this SVS oil which has to be reordered. Uh, the minimum quantity is 20 and the order quantity is 5. The difference quantity is being shown here. The stock in hand is 25. So as per the sales, we need to reorder 5 quantity again and the default vendor for this product is Surya Marketing. You can even change the vendor name here. The last purchase date is being displayed and here we have a sales history graph for SVS oil. So on the week one we have sold around five pieces of this. Basically here September month and the first week sales. Similarly under Surya Rice we have we are buying it from Tangam Rice Monday so if, if required we have uh, 12.5 bags left. So as per the sales if you want to reorder we can just even change the quantity while generating the orders. So from this single screen we can generate uh, multiple orders for different different vendors. So it will auto segregate uh, all the products of individual vendors and generate a single PO for vendor as per the DAYs that we have defined. We have complete end to end accounts also here uh, wherein you can generate your GST returns using Max. You can check your outstanding bills payable for different vendors. So in bills payable, we'll get a list of all the reports, uh, all the bills which are yet to be paid to different vendors. And uh, again, we can just go to accounts and go to payments. Select cash payment or a payment through bank. We can just select the vendor name saying, let's say OT Fresh Vegetables. We have 630 rupees due and let's say we are making a payment of 400. So it will ask us a bill adjustment of 400 against this bill. If we are even claiming any discounts from the vendor while making the payment, we can just select discount and type 30 rupees here. So while making the payment of this bill, we can even track the analysis of purchases and sales against this bill. So from this bill, we have only sold, we have gained 17 rupees profit and uh, still the quantity left the total inward quantity and outward quantity is being shown here. So we still have a stock left so we can just decide uh, this while making the payment and make the payments accordingly. So while making the payment also we can just uh, claim a discount from the vendor and we just adjust this against the bill. Our check number, uh, the check date or any remarks that you want and you can just save this. Coming back to bills payable again once we refresh this. So now it will show that we have OT vegetables. This shows in green color so which is uh, partially adjusted so out of this 630 we have only 200 left. We can just click plus sign and see the adjustment details here. So we have made a payment and claimed a discount of 30 rupees. We can even see the ledger of the same vendor. We can just go to ledger report. We have a control L as the shortcut key for the ledger. So once we see the ledger, so it says opening balance was nil. As on this date we have a purchase of 630 rupees. Then we have made a payment of 400 at 30 rupees on discount. Similarly, when you can see the HDFC bank ledger, so it will show us opening of nil. As on this date, we have a deposit of 500 rupees from POS bill number 2, and we have made a payment of 400. And the closing balance of bank balance is uh, 100 rupees. Uh, similarly, if we are receiving any payments from the customer, we can just go for accounts and receipt. So, in this case, we if we have any credit sales made or any customer pays us in advance, we can just mention the customer name. and. Uh, Let's say include cash customers. So again, this customer, let's say customer paid us a thousand rupees in advance. 
So this advance amount can also be adjusted in the next POS bill for this customer. If there's any order or some advance have been paid, even this can be tracked or any credit note can be adjusted in the next POS bill. Uh, we have options to enter opening balances as well as uh, opening stocks match wise under the inventory and accounts menu. And you can import all this data, all your master data as well as existing stock uh, through Excel templates. We have this option of file uh, data import. So we have multiple templates based on which we can directly import uh, master data as well as the closing balances and the stocks uh, with the expiry date uh, through Excel in Max ERP. And you can manage complete end-to-end -end accounts with uh, bank reconciliation as well as file your GST returns using Max ERP. There are a lot of other reporting options too, uh, which uh, you'll be able to explore once you drill into the demo, and it will be very useful for you. So that's it with Max ERP Supermarket Demo. And stay tuned for next set of videos to come. Thanks a lot for watching this video.